Okay, I'm back, and uh, yeah, I couldn't get it to work with uh, BitPim on uh, other CDMA. So what? <laughs> uh, so ignore all the warnings I gave you on the last video, because we're actually going to get through it through the USB on the LG VX8600. So that's what I did under phone types. So I hit OK now. And obviously it will detect, but it will make a bunch of blip 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 beeping. So <laughs> uh, the way I uh, got into here is under file system and just highlight it and cl click the little plus button. Okay, now you are going to have to ignore all the noise and the phone beeping making because basically what we're going to look at now is the file system itself. <coughs> And um, basically, we're going to look under brew, and you can't see it, but there's AMS. Now, the nice thing about uh, this is that you're able to see everything right off the shot. Now, if you went into other CDMA phone and made it work, which I couldn't, you won't be able to see some of these files, which includes policy.txt and main.ks. Now, I'm not going to zoom in or anything, just take my word for it. That's policy.txt, that's main.ks. Now, if you see a AMS and you see all these files here, and there's a bunch of them, and basically, like, there's, there's actually, I'm just there, there's 122 of these files on my phone. Now, if you take a look at any of these folders, and you do. So in this case, it's actually a screensaver. So if I actually saved 100.jpg onto my system, you'll actually see one of these pictures on the background. And uh, this phone is actually able to handle GIFs too. Uh, so, but right now I don't want to access that. I'll show you that a little later, I guess. Um, let's go into something a little bit more interesting. Let's say 26. And again, my phone is beeping. It will do that beeping, beeping thing. Uh, as far as I know, I've been doing it forever. Uh, just It won't hurt it, <laughs> as far as I know. Now, on 26, it's actually a program. And this phone is weird. Okay, it actually kind of messed up my phone because I actually got a message. But uh, as far as I know, it, it, it hasn't destroyed my phone by hooking it up this way. Um, now what the file we need is actually under AMS and is that policy file. So sorry it's really hard to concentrate while my phone's going beep 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 but you all you would do is highlight that policy file right click and go to save. Okay, once you save it, it's actually a TXT file. You can open it up. I'm going to open it up right now, actually. This is the original policy file in the phone. And you're like, well, why do you want to edit the policy file? The policy file basically controls what the application can do. And now, if you download a game and it tries to make a sound, it will try to uh, get access to multimedia access, right? And as you can see, the policy file right now is on one shot. So it'd be like, well, do you want the program to make a sound? Yes. Do you want the program to make a sound? Yes. Do you want the program to access the internet? Yes. 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 And it gets really annoying really fast. Um, and to be honest, when you get into uh, the other applications, which you're able to hook on the phone through, uh, which they don't recommend you do, but my altered policies. Let's see if we can load up one. So here's an altered policy I got and basically I've uh, allowed multimedia access, net access, whatever. So basically do back up your original policy which you don't really need to because all you're doing is say you want message reception or message delivery to be one shot. You just copy that allow part, right? And you just paste it over the one shot. That's it. That's all you really do for that. And it, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. It's that easy? Yes, it is that easy. <coughs> Sorry there. So over policy, you just go overwrite, and then you overwrite it. In this case, I'm not going to do that because uh, 